The Real Screeners are back, this time to give you our real take on Starfish, a film that premiered back in the fall of 2018 at Fantastic Fest, the Alamo Drafthouse's official film festival. We had a chance to see it here in El Paso as Carlos Corral, the founder of the El Paso Film Festival, brought it to film club at the Alamo Drafthouse. Starfish is directed by A.T. White and stars Virginia Gardner as a protagonist, Aubrey, who's trying to get over the death of her friend Grace, who hid these mixed tapes around town, so now it's Aubrey's mission to track down and interpret these tapes while also dealing with an alien apocalypse. That's right, and you know, you see a lot of shots of Aubrey just kind of lounging around, mm -hmm. you know, in different locations that are very empty, void of people, and the movie really serves as this metaphor for mm -hmm grief and isolation and, coping, and yeah. coping with the loss of someone that you loved. Yeah, this movie definitely has a slow burn, it being an indie film, right? It's It leans a lot on the artistic elements, which I thought were kind of the redeeming qualities of a movie whose plot, for me, was kind of confusing at times. Yeah, you know, it's definitely, you know, an experimental film that right. depends a lot on visual storytelling. Absolutely. Um, and so it reminded me a lot of these, you know, avant-garde films like Melancholia, something that Lars von Trier would have directed, for example. Mm -hmm. It's a movie where you just kind of sit and you take in all of the imagery, all of the experimental shots in there, mm -hmm. um, and you try to make sense out of it, which can be a turnoff for some viewers at times, you know, like myself, it, it was confusing. Right, know? I mean, for the casual moviegoer, they might be watching this and thinking, what is, what the heck is going on? They're used to a certain pacing. You know, this movie is uh, one that's really open to interpretation and just lets you absorb all the different elements and just try to, you know, try to think a little bit. Yeah, nonetheless, the metaphors are really impactful. They kind of mirror her grief with the end of the world, mm -hmm. the impending end of the world, and there's some chase scenes and some even like some horror film sequences. Right. Th those you know? were, for me, the best parts of the movie. I wish they would have had more of that. But yeah. then again, I am kind of like a sci-fi kind of guy. So. Right. You know, they have these uh, images of, uh, you know, these starfish uh, kind of like like being dropped into a fish tank. They have these images of monsters or aliens, if you will. Mm -hmm. And they all kind of connect back to this idea of what a person feels like when they're sad and depressed. Which brings me to the point that this movie is a downer. This movie yeah. is like, you know, be prepared to be depressed. Uh, the, the mood is very purposeful in that way. Um, so it's a movie that I probably won't see again, but it was worth a watch. So wrapping this up, like you said, it's a movie heavy on existential undertones, mm -hmm. and I thought it was accentuated by the music, which I thought were appropriate for the scenes, and the cinematography, which, for example, did a really good job of what's called negative space, which helps create that feeling of emptiness and solitude. That's right. And so, so props to Alberto Bagnades, who was a cinematographer for this movie. Yeah. Did a, a fantastic job. Absolutely. Not to mention the locales, you know, you had the snow as a prominent part of the setting, which also adds to that feeling of, you know, melancholy, if mm -hmm. you will. So you You'll be able to check out this film soon on Amazon Video, and I would just like to give a shout out to Carlos Corral for bringing experimental and independent films to El Paso so that people can actually, you know, enjoy these films. And as always, I would like to thank the Alamo Draft House for bringing great films in their film club. Check them out every Wednesday. And if you want more information about the El Paso Film Festival or you'd like to enter it, go ahead and check them out at ElPasoFilmFestival.org. And look us up on social media. We're at Facebook at Real Screeners and Instagram Real dot screeners and as always if you like our videos hit that subscribe and bell button we'll see you next time the Real Screeners have returned this time to give you our real take on Starfish a film that premiered at Fantastic Beasts and where to find them <laughs> The Real Screeners have returned to give you our real take on Starfish, a film that premiered in 2018 at the Alamo Draft House System. <laughs> <laughs> Suddenly you can't say Alamo Draft House anymore. At the Alamo Draft House official <laughs> film <laughs> festival. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. Because you messed up again. I did? Yes. What am I saying? You're saying Alamo's Draft House or something like that. It's You're messing up somewhere along those lines. And it's accentuated really by the music which I thought was very appropriately play, play <laughs> too many peas